Well, several arrests after a violent follow home robbery last month in West LA. Four out of town visitors were robbed. And now police believe the same suspects may have targeted even more people. KCAL 9's Rick Montanez live at LAPD headquarters tonight, Rick. And Leslie, we've learned tonight that one of those suspects arrested was actually out on bond for another robbery case. This is a big arrest for detectives, and the break in the case actually came during an accidental shooting not long after the robbery. These scenes are becoming all too familiar in many of LA's upscale neighborhoods. Follow home robberies. Crooks are targeting people wearing expensive jewelry, high end watches, and flashy designer clothes. If you're a victim of a crime, it's really best to report it. Be as descriptive as possible for detectives, and uh, we, uh, we end up catching them sooner or later. LAPD says on April 20th, at this particular scene on Coldwater Canyon in Beverly Grove, the crime escalated to kidnapping when three armed men forced four vacationing victims into their Airbnb rental around 12.45 a.m. Police say the armed men made off with $70,000 worth of watches, jewelry, and clothes. 30 minutes after the robbery, another call came in. Around 1.15 the same morning, uh, there was a shooting call that actually came out in the 100 block of South Virgil Avenue. Now officers responded to that location and they were able to see a blood trail that led to an apartment. No one was found inside, but detectives found two handguns and what's described as an AR pistol, which we're told is a ghost gun. A search warrant also led them to stolen items from the home in Beverly Grove. Police say an hour later, a man now identified as 21 year old Chans Lee Yarbrough showed up at a hospital with a gunshot wound to his leg. The suspect that was shot in the leg was actually shot by one of the other suspects on accident. Days later, LAPD arrested both Yarbrough and 20-year-old Artiz Alvarez. Both have been charged with four counts each of kidnapping and assault with a deadly weapon. There have been more than 80 arrests since last year, and across the city, more than 250 reported follow-home robberies, according to LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. Crooks are targeting victims as they head home or even out in the street in broad daylight. But detectives say they're working diligently to try and catch each and every criminal pulling off the surprise attacks. And that is why today detectives released those suspect photos. They're also still trying to identify the third suspect from this particular case, and they're hoping to see if they can tie these men to any other crimes. Reporting live outside of LAPD headquarters, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. Rick, thank you.